Good evening and thank you for joining us this evening um, for our junior ACT informational meeting. Um, we'll go over the agenda here shortly, but let me just introduce myself. I'm Brian Mav. I'm the principal here at Casa Grande Union High School. I also have um, with us today Mrs. Andrea Turan, our AP over academics. And uh, we are just grateful that you joined us and want to let you know a couple of housekeeping things. Uh, first of all, um, for chat, if you have any questions, um, you can enter those at any time or you can wait till the end. And that is the Q&A button that you should have on your screen. Um, so just go ahead and submit a comment to that so that we way we can review and we can answer your questions. So again, if you have any questions, please use that Q&A button and send us those questions along the way. Also, we will be recording this and we will be sending out a link to that recording through your email accounts, both for students and families, um, along with the PowerPoint presentation. So you'll have both of those together. Um, with that, we'll go ahead and get started with the information for this evening. So again, this meeting tonight is about prepping for success on our ACT. We're gonna cover the following informational pieces. What is the ACT and why is it important? How your child currently performs in relation to ACT college readiness benchmarks? How's the school helping students prepare for the ACT? How you can support at home and then give you a chance to answer the, ask those questions again using the Q&A feature. So with that, let's get started. So the ACT is an abbreviation for the American College Test. It was originally utilized for college admissions and scholarships. It is now required to test all juniors in Arizona for state accountability. This is similar to those um, that may be familiar with the old AIMS or the AZ Merit Test. So instead of those tests, the state has adopted the ACT for state accountability purposes. It is administered in April of each year. And we know that it's a strong predictor for both college readiness as well as future success in college and career. So even if you're not planning on going on college, this is a good indicator to make sure that students are ready and are going to be successful in their careers post high school. It supports scholarship eligibility and competitiveness, competitiveness as well as encompasses four different test areas in reading, English, math, and science. In order to view how our student or your student is doing using the student account information, they can log in to their portal using Clever, or you can go to the link here. Um, we'll put that link in the chat box as well. Um, you will be able to go to their ACT benchmark test. This is the area that they're going to go to in order to see their scores. So you'll have access to it and students will have access to it. So let's just upload that. If you wanna follow along on the student account, we will put that in the chat box right now for you. And so you should have that link. When you open up that screen, you will see here on the left-hand side, a go to student portal. So once you open that up and logged in using their account information, you'll click on the go to student portal and it will open up a screen with three tabs at the top. Clicking on the tab on the right for additional results, you will pull up their scores. And so you'll notice that there will be a drop down menu right now. This is the first year, but later on there will be um, scored for each of the years that they're doing and you'll be able to see each of those benchmark tests um, categories. So in this case, you'll see the English score, math score, ACT reading score and the ACT science score along with their composite or total score. On the right hand side are those scores for them. Um, you'll notice that there are color indicators, green being that they're on track yellow being that they're getting close and the reds that there are some concerns that we want to see some growth and improvement. And then again, that composite score at the bottom. That Arizona proficiency um, requires them to score a 19 in order to be proficient on all of those tests. So it looks like we might be having some tech issues as far as sound. So we're gonna check our sound and take a, a quick pause right now.
just to kind of check if uh, you are able to hear us. If you'll just uh, put in a, a quick note in the announcements, so that way we know that you are hearing us in case we need to check our end for tech. With that said, so again, that Arizona proficiency score is 19 on each of those areas in the tests. Colleges may have a different expectation, so please check with your college or university for their individual requirements, but the state of Arizona is expecting that 19. If you click on the tab in the middle next to the additional results, you will also see uh, common test results. This is where you'll see all the different progress checks. So you'll be able to log in and check each time we've administered a project check along the way. On the right hand side here in this red, there's that plus sign. You'll be able to click on that plus sign and you'll see additional information for each of those subtests or those check in progress check tests. So you'll be able to take a look at the course type, its test name, students overall score, and then it breaks down by the standards. So you'll get the standard, standard descriptions, their score as it compares to the district average. So you'll be able to get an idea how the students are progressing as compared to other students that might be um, participating. Some things that the school is doing to support our students is that we are administering these benchmarks. So we administered one at the beginning of the year. These benchmarks do mirror the full ACT test. So we are administering them very similar to how the ACT gets administered. That next benchmark is this Tuesday, January 24th. We have also been doing bi-weekly progress checks, assessing students' progress on key standards. For example, in science, we recognize from our data that students were struggling as a whole on interpretation of data. So that's been that focal point for those bi-weekly progress checks. In math, it's those algebra standards. In reading, it's the area of key ideas and details. This information then is used to inform instruction along the way, with teachers making modifications and adjustments for their curriculum and supports. Students set goals at the beginning of the year and have been checking up with their teachers on those goal setting and progress. We have also started an ACT prep course. A little bit more information on the ACT prep course so that you have that in your um, background is that it is designed for students with the content foundations who need additional support with specific test taking strategies. Students who score on the benchmarks, whether it was the first one that we administered at the beginning of the year or this coming Tuesday, if they score with a 16 or higher on their benchmark, can qualify to take the ACT prep course. We offer two choices, zero hour or seventh hour. The vast majority of students chose zero hour and that class has already begun. But don't fear, it's not too late. We are gonna be offering an intercession course that will be open to any student who scores that 16 or higher, whether it was the first benchmark and they just didn't uh, take the zero hour, or they've improved their score and qualify on this second benchmark coming up on Tuesday. As a side note, it is available for a half or a 0.5 elective credit. Some incentives that we're doing to help encourage students, other than just that it's a good practice to do well on the test and to strive for that excellence, but we are um, recognizing students who meet the proficiency standard or show growth will be invited to a reward party. Additionally, students will be entered into a drawing for various prizes, also based on showing growth or meeting that proficiency standard. So a couple different ways that students are getting recognized, both for showing growth as well as for meeting those proficiency marks. Some things that you can do to help support your child at home. First, reviewing the bench benchmark one performance with your student just like we showed you how to log in at the beginning, discussing their goals with them, helping them to set and encourage them to do their best on that January 24th test coming up next week. Also checking in with them and reviewing their January 24th benchmark. So the test itself, the actual ACT is not until April. So we still have a couple months of growth to make 
And so by checking the January 24th benchmark, you can review that growth, identify specific standards, and additional look for opportunities to support them at home. And of course, encouraging them to sign up for that intercession course if they qualify. Finally, we wanna share some additional resources with you. Those additional resources include um, an ACT free online resource, and I'll put that in the chat box as well, so you have that link for you. We'll be sending this PowerPoint out later, so you'll also have access to the PowerPoint and these links. But let me give you a in the chat so that you'll be able to uh, click on it now and follow along. So in this first link, it is the link for the ACT free online resources that includes the 2223 test prep guide, preparing for the ACT practice questions and test, and free video tutoring and other video resources. The second link that we'll also put in the chat for you gives you access to the ACT CCRS test skills and standards. ACT also provides a list of needed skills for students to perform well on the test for each subject area. That way you can review with them that list to prepare for the test and work on other areas they need to improve. And then finally, if you Google preparing for the ACT, there's a lot of different free resources and guides that you can use to practice at home. ACT has free practice questions. They put out a preparing for the ACT guide for students each school year that is filled with those questions along with answer keys. So great opportunities to do in the evenings or on those weekends. At this time, we'll, we'll take a chance to ask any questions. Again, you can access that using the Q&A tab in order to ask those questions. So that way we can respond via the chat and, and share out. So we'll give you a few minutes. Um, again, we'll be emailing this presentation out for any who may have missed or if you want to see the presentation at a later time. Okay, with that said, it doesn't look like we've had any other questions. Um, we would encourage you to uh, encourage your child to look forward to the Tuesday's benchmark test to take that seriously, um, not only for some of the rewards, but also just for a good progress check for them. Um, we would encourage them to do well on it. And then we'll continue to monitor for the next couple months as we gear up for the real ACT that takes place in April. Again, thank you for joining us this evening. Um, be looking for your email for a link to the video as well as the PowerPoint. Have a great evening.